Hey guys, this is your weekly tarot forecast for the Numinous week beginning December the 7th. And I've pulled out for us the beautiful Three of Wands. And the threes are always about expansion. So they're always like, you know, the opening up of things and also the results of things that you've kind of, you know, been putting in the works. So I'm really hoping that this week, although we are winding down, you know, a little bit at the end of the year, I really feel like you might get a few kind of hints and tips and results of some of the things that you've been working on, perhaps even throughout the whole of this year. You know, this could come in varying kind of ways. You know, it might be that you have that massive aha moment, you know, where you'd been waiting to kind of like, what did that thing mean? You know, I just can't find the purpose of that thing. And suddenly you're like, oh, okay, that's starting to make sense now. And, you know, on, on another way of looking at it, this is a card where we start to see the results of our manifesting. So I hope that you might start to, you know, it's kind of like that ship's coming back in feeling. And so I hope that you might suddenly start to see, you know, the rewards of some things that you've been working on, or even just the, you know, the sense that like, oh, I'm soon gonna, you know, see the results of that and get to be really excited about it. Whilst we're on that sense of kind of things coming back in, it's really important to remember, you know, that art of manifesting and how we have to put our intention out there and then we take our action and then you must surrender the outcome. So I also want you to think this week, you know, if there's anything that you're kind of over controlling or obsessing about, like I really need that thing and it might be time for you to, you know, practice letting that go a little bit because what we really need to accept, which is, you know, a very humbling part of our experience, is that, you know, we don't always get the thing that we, you know, think that we want, you know, we often get something better or we often get something that we need that's going to teach us a certain lesson. Our problem comes when we really fixate on something and we deem ourselves to have experienced a loss or a failure if we don't get it. I want you to really know that failure is a, it's very much a word made up by humans to um, make themselves feel bad. And I want you to think instead about space clearing. So whatever comes back in, that's the perfect thing. Don't get stuck on waiting for something or obsessing about something that you can't see what's right in front of your face. And on a final note, it's a fun collaborative energy. You know, this is kind of light and bright and expansive. You know, I love this card. It really does say the world is your oyster. So absolutely don't hold back on anything. You know, share, brainstorm, write emails, write letters, you know, get excited, pick up the phone, do things that, you know, are for your greater good and have fun with it.